in America, we have a very important election coming up. Now, I'm not getting on here trying to tell people who they should vote for or what they should vote for or anything like that. In this video, I just want to tell the different types of voters and what what their party, what, what kind of policies they align themselves with, what they believe in for the most part. But before I do that, I want to go into real quick what the branches of government do because some people, when they think of elections, they only think about the president and that's not the case. You have other things to worry about us also. So you got three branches of government, legislative, judicial, and the executive branch. The, um, the legislative, we only usually talk about the executive branch, but the other branches are just important. The legislative branch, that's Congress. The members of Congress, they're responsible for making the laws of the country. They're there to prevent abuse of power through checks and balances. Then you have the judicial branch. The judicial, the judicial branch, that's the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in the land. And then you got other federal courts, lower level. They are the ones that settle legal issues when people get taken to court and stuff like that by supposedly administering justice. Lastly, you have the executive branch, which is the president. Usually when you think executive branch, you think of the president. <laughs> You think of the president, but the president is not the only one in the executive branch. That also goes lower than the president because it involves governors who oversee the policies of states. And then you have mayors who oversee the policies, policies of cities or towns. So the executive branch is not just the president. It's the person who is in charge of different levels. So the president is the commander in chief of the country. Governors are commander in chief of states. And then you have mayors who are commander in chiefs of cities or towns. So now let's get into the different type of voters that there are in the system. Now the definition for these voters are not exact to the T, but they're basically a summary of it. So first let's go with Democrats. Usually Democrats are individuals who usually believe in like diversity, equity, inclusion. They're individuals who believe in universal health care, lower college tuition, individuals who believe the middle class shouldn't pay as much in taxes that the that the high uh, the uh, upper class should pay more. Those are basically the principles of Democrats. But you have more than one type of person on the left. You also have the far left. For the most part, when you think of far left, those are the individuals that go a step beyond individual. Like most of the time, when you think of far left, you probably think of people who usually believe in like gender identity and stuff like that. The, those are the people that want to be called like certain pronouns and stuff. The um she, him, I mean, she, her, he, him, they, them. Usually that would be considered the far left. Because a lot of Democrats don't believe in the same stuff that the far left do. Just like the same on the right side. You have Republicans and you have far right Republicans. So now we get to Republicans. For the most part, <laughs> Republicans are individuals who believe in like lower taxes being tough on crime, they're very religious, and they have strong family values. That's basically what describes a traditional Republican. But nowadays, you don't have as many traditional Republicans as you had once, like, let's say 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago. Now, you have, you still have some, but now for the most part, in the, in the, on the conservative side, you got Republicans, but now you have far right Republicans. And the far right, those are the ones that go to the extreme. I would I would categorize those as like the MAGA people that you see. Though I would consider those far right Republicans. 
those are usually individuals who usually prefer their own. They have a strong belief that their way is the only way. Many of those kind of people, especially in America, they believe America should be a white Christian nation. That's why that's why they're so against like immigration. Because even if the immigrants were here legally, they would probably still complain about it. Because they they truly believe America should be a white Christian nation. Then you get a libertarian. Now, a libertarian is an individual who usually believes in liberty and freedom. But they want freedom from the government. They like they don't align with like any particular party. They just want freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of choice, free from government interference. They don't want the government to be able to tell them how to do anything. They usually are against any kind of like war, military action, anything like that. For the most part, that's what libertarians are. So again, these definitions are basically just summaries. These aren't like 100% true for all people who consider them libertarians. Consider them libertarians. Then you have independents. Now, independents are people that don't really align with any particular party. They care more about the policies that people are talking about rather than, oh, I'm a vote Democrat, or I'm a vote Republican. They're listening to what the candidate is saying rather than who the can what party the candidate is a part of. So those would be considered independent voters. But you, you have a lot of in, independent voters. Some of them, usually they don't vote for the top two people on the ballot. They might throw in a third or fourth person on the ballot. That's who independent voters. And then you have the non-voters, the people that just don't, they don't care about none of it. Because those are the usually non-voters, people who be like, well, I'm not voting anyway. Those are the people who don't care about politics at all or, or they don't believe it matters who is elected. They don't think their life will change at all. No matter who you select, I'm still, my life is still going to be the same no matter what. So why should I vote? Because nothing's going to change. Those are usually the, the, the ideas of the non-voters. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> like your comment. Let me know in the comment section, like, what kind of voter do you like? What, what do you think voters should be? Or let me know in the comment section where you think I messed up on what these individuals are.